Today on the Smart Penny Pincher, I'm going to show you how to program the Notamu USB barcode reader. The barcode reader can either be programmed wirelessly or you can plug it right in the port at the bottom for a wired mode into your USB jack. The first thing we're going to do is set this up in wireless mode. So you need to scan this barcode here after you plug in your USB and it'll be ready to go. Now I'm going to test this in numbers and scan a couple of barcodes and as you can see it's dropping off the leading zero. So to fix that I'm going to select the entire document and then change the data format to text from automatic. So as you can see the leading zeros are now correct and we can move on to the next setting. The next setting is called collection mode and what this does is it can store all of the barcode reads and literally thousands of them and then you can upload them all at once. So all you have to do is scan the collection mode button and then start scanning. When you're done, scan the upload data and all the numbers will be updated simultaneously. And to clear the data, just hit the clear data barcode. To show the total number of barcodes you've scanned, hit the show data barcode. As an example of the collection mode in use, I've scanned five barcodes, which is shown here when I hit the show total storage, and then I'm going to upload the data. And there are the five barcodes. The next setting we're going to do is called the terminator setting, which tells the barcode reader whether to put a tab at the end of the entry or a carriage return. So in order to do this, the first thing we do is scan disable character format, then we add a suffix, then we select our setting. And the setting I just set was the carriage return or CR in the manual where it adds an enter after the data entry. So as you can see in the text editor, after each entry, the cursor returns to the next line with a CR setting. So when we change this to a tab setting, the data is appended to the previous entry as if you were to hit the tab button after it was read. If you'd like to shut off the beep entirely and have a silent reader, just scan the close voice barcode and you can scan without any beep at all. To turn it back on, hit the open voice barcode. So there are a lot of features on the Natamu and it may be even more than you need, but for only 35 bucks, this is a pretty good deal. So if we scan here, you can see some of the things it can do. Uh, for one thing, it can go up to 328 feet in the wireless mode, and that should be more than enough for most uh, uses. It's compatible with a PC, laptop, tablet. It says it doesn't say tablet here, but actually you can do that with a tablet and a mobile phone. And in order to do that, you need a cable. It's called a lightning to USB cable adapter. And uh, if you go over to my website, I have a link to that where you can pick this up. Uh, the battery life is super long. Uh, they show 20 hours here. I've never killed the battery and it only takes a few hours to charge it. And it can read multiple barcode types, even reverse. So, you know, check it out and see if this is what you need. If you'd like to buy the barcode reader or read the full review, I've provided a link at the bottom where you can go back to my website. Thank you.